Now, ladies and gentlemen, as most of you know, within the last few days of the Counter-Strike scene, it's been pretty hectic, and some may say there hasn't been a dull moment. From the major update rolling out just two days ago, with also a year's notice, but leaving out arguably the most popular and fun part, that being stickers. Just yesterday, the Team 9 Pandas and the Copenhagen Major were rumored to be disqualified due to visa issues, which then would lead Gamer Legion to take their place. And here we are in the present day, and that's exactly what's happened. Nine Pandas is out of the Copenhagen Major, where Gamer Legion is now in. Now it's been seen through data mines that the Team 9 Pandas, their stickers have now been replaced with Gamer Legions. Nine Panda stickers have been officially deleted and nowhere to be found in Counter-Strike's files. But since we don't have them yet, nor have been released, we really won't know until they actually do come out. Today's video is a commentary slash news video of what's been happening inside the CS2 community the last few days. Today's video sponsor is Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a buying and trading marketplace where you can trade off your old skins for something new. All you do is log into Steam, then you trade the skins you no longer want to pick up the new skins you want to obtain. Any remaining cash from trading goes to your balance that can be used in any future trade. By using my code MANDO, you can get up to a free $5 and if you choose to deposit alongside using my code, you get a total of a 35% deposit bonus. With Skins Monkey's large variety of skins, they also offer daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways. If interested, it'll be the top of the link in the description below. Firstly, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is essentially a recap of what's been happening the past couple of days to catch you up to now. Rumors and fake leaks have been continuously tossed around saying we'll both get nine pandas and Game of Legion stickers inside the Copenhagen Major, which I don't think that's going to be the case. Since we can see the update files has the same seed or code for the nine panda stickers, that same code for that team no shows up if you want to inspect them in game if you know how to with gamer legions and yeah that's uh that's kind of confusing but for the majority of players it's kind of disappointing since they actually look very cool and also really sucks for the team that they couldn't actually make it gamer legion second iteration of transparent stickers i gotta say look absolutely stunning they have a glow and shine and now the ability to stack on top of each other where they actually look good that we just haven't seen before and i actually really like that but the community's reaction and their answer begs to differ comments on my channel and it seems like all of social media are saying gamer legion is taking their place and it's not fair or they're worthy of the spot, which yes, I understand both sides, but originally that was just my opinion. With these stickers being replaced leads us into the next segment, which is investing. Now this may be its own commentary in the near future, but what happened to Gamer Legion stickers coming into the major when they weren't supposed to in the first place, and then led players and investors to buy them in hopes that they'd be a good profit, which based off all the data and history inside CS, they would have been great. But of course now, that's all ruined. Essentially the message I'm trying to say is we don't ever know what's going to happen inside Counter-Strike, let alone the CS market. I don't believe it takes a complete genius to figure out that Counter-Strike's market has changed changed, and investing has gotten a whole lot harder. It went first from being called a stupid hobby to a fat profit, and then a time where investments had opportunities to grow. Whereas if now, the future of all items is just unknown. This being more so to do with the recent-ish, and also newer items coming to Counter-Strike 2. Valve does what they want when they want, and they've continued to show through updates that they don't care about investing. But that's of course just my opinion, I know it might be harsh, but those are just my thoughts. Hopping off the investment segment now leads us into some questions. Questions have risen, when will these stickers be on sale, since the major starts later today? And you right now either could be watching the video during the major being played, maybe sometime after, or maybe you're part of the early bird special, who really knows. A recent post from Thor CS makes me wonder Valve's reasoning even more. Links to Thor will be down in the description. He posted a tweet late last night saying the first match of the PGL major starts in less than 22 hours, and we still don't have the sticker capsules released. If one of the teams is having issues, it shouldn't make other teams suffer. Team slash players make a profit on the number of capsules Valve sell in game. If on average 1 million capsules are sold a day, that would have been $500,000 to teams and players per day. If stickers were released 7 days ago, the amount would have been $3.5 million already. Thor continues to say at the bottom, these are of course all rough estimates, as 50% of the teams and team capsules go to the teams, and 50% goes to the players and autograph capsules. Now where this makes me really wonder is Valve must have had a really good reason for them not to release these, since that's already a lot of missed profit in a very short period of time. Now the obvious answers are the ones that we've had right in front of us. Players simply didn't have their autographs in on time, visa issues with 9 pandas which ended up disqualifying them, bringing in Gamer Legion, Valve had to make their stickers and make them for the Copenhagen Major. This all brings me back to my original talking points of when Valve will release these. Will these have an extended sale where it's a lot longer than let's just say the Paris, Stockholm, or Antwerp major? Could these be on sale going into the summer months of 2024? And if that's the case, well that's a whole commentary and a conspiracy theory and a rabbit hole to go down because then we wouldn't get any really new content for a very long time. That's a lot of the worst case scenario and a lot of what ifs. I believe we're going to see these stickers sometime later today, whereas if you're watching today's video, it's going to be sometime Monday, which is tomorrow when everyone back at Valve is at the offices. Now I know I just said I'd stop going down a rabbit hole, but it just came to me that all of these stickers all of the capsules and microtransactions are inside the game via the past couple of updates for CS2. It's no longer a question of if these are going to come out at a certain date, it's just a matter of when now, within the next 48 hours probably. If they're all in the game, then why not just release them? It's all just very confusing. And lastly for today's video, I want to quickly mention pickups. I've gotten dozens of comments and DMs on Twitter about what my pickups are and what people pretty much should copy, which I don't really suggest you do. To be honest, I haven't really watched too much pro CS within the last six months, especially here on CS2. I haven't really watched too much Counter-Strike 2 or just Counter-Strike in general, 
really since the Paris Major and some tournaments in between. So I feel like my take on things wouldn't be really great, especially if you want that diamond coin, even though they have been the same now for the past five years. So does it really matter? For now, I've copied Lander's Pickums, and I'll like his video in the description. There's plenty of other people, but he's someone who I trust with the numbers, but also the pro team stats. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay positive, stay sexy. I'm out, guys. Peace.